Do you have a system that you've recently replaced the thermostat or you're having some thermostat issues and that system should be blowing cool air and it's not, it's blowing hot air? Now, I'm not talking about a system that's just circulating the warm air that's in the house. I'm talking about a system that you definitively know that it's blowing heat. It's in heat mode when it should be blowing air conditioning and you're not quite sure why. One telltale sign is if that system is turned on, that outdoor unit is running and you're able to touch those copper lines, those copper lines that should be cold, or at least one of them should be quite cold, and they're both hot, then chances are you are in heating mode. And let's talk about why that is and what the solution would be. First thing is, why is it doing it? Heat pump systems are basically an air conditioner that can run backwards in the wintertime and give you heat. So they've got something in there called a reversing valve, and that reversing valve has a solenoid on there. The thermostat would send voltage to that solenoid and when it energizes it can shift one way and when it stops being energized it shifts back the other way and depending on what that shift looks like there's three pipes that come in the bottom and one pipe in the top typically and that shifting will cause the refrigerant flow to go different directions now the reason that's important is the type of system you have meaning the brand plays a big role because not all brands do things the same years ago it used to be pretty simple it was Ream and Rude on one side, and then you basically had everyone else on the other side. You had Ream and Rude energizing and heating. You would program it as B or land that wire on the B terminal, and then everyone else was O. They energized in cooling to get that heat pump to blow cold. But today, we see a lot more folks on the Ream and Rude side where you need to energize that reversing valve in heating mode. We see brands like Ameristar and Oxbox. Bosch and Hisense and a number of other brands that are made overseas and being imported. I'm not sure all of them, so I, I may miss one or two, but ultimately we're seeing a lot more folks on this side of the aisle now. So if that system, if there's no current going to that solenoid to energize it, then the system is going to automatically, typically blow cold. And so again, on the other side, it's just the opposite. If that solenoid is not energized, it's going to blow warm or heat. It's going to blow hot. And so the reason this is all important, obviously you need to install the thermostat correctly. You need to program it correctly. I'm going to show you in a moment how you can program a thermostat. In fact, I'm going to do it on two different thermostats, how to program it from one to the other. So if you've got it in O or B, how to do that. And we're going to be showing you that on the Sensi Touch 2 thermostat and the Sensi Lite. They're my new favorite thermostats. And thank you to Copeland for sponsoring this video. They sent me the Sensi 2 and the Sensi Lite. We installed them. I'm going to be doing more videos on those. But let me show you just real quick, if you've got one of those, how easy it is to switch from O to B or B to O, depending on what brand heating and air equipment you have. Okay, if we're gonna change the settings in a Sensi light, we're gonna hold down the menu button for eight seconds. And you see we've got a heat pump. So now we've gotta to go to the reversing valve. So we're gonna tap menu once and then again. And then the third setting so the first setting was the heat pump or ac the second setting was the type of indoor unit we have and now you see we have o we can change that to b for certain brands or back to o once we've got the setting we want we just tap menu again menu again and then finally menu again all right, now we're going to change the reversing valve on this Sensi Touch 2. Very easy, you just go up to the icon in the top left for the menus. You'll then click Advanced Setup. Then you'll click HVAC Equipment. And you'll see reversing valve position is B. You just hit Configure, tap O, and then Save. 
It's as easy as that. So that's basically how you do it. Now, if you don't have the Sensi, if you got some other brand thermostat, you just want to go into the instructions or however it is you've got to program it. If you'd like to get more information on the Sensi Touch 2 or the Sensi Lite, I'm going to put a link down in the description of this video where you can get more information. Or if you want to purchase the thermostat, a couple links for that. But no matter which thermostat you have, you should be able to switch from O to B or B to O. If that's your problem, then be able to get that system to blow cold or hot if it's the winter time. If that doesn't fix your issue, it may be time to get a pro involved. You might have an issue with the reversing valve itself. You might have an issue with the board that sends voltage to that reversing valve. It's hard to say. If this helped you at all, I'd love to hear about that. Leave us a comment down below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about three HVAC calculations that if you don't get them done, they could cost you a ton of money. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.